my question for you is is the name prophet Muhammad peace be upon him mentioned directly and if so where in the Bible brother asked the question of a Christian brother has asked the question that is the name of prophet Muhammad peace be upon him mentioned in the Bible by name and if yes where if you read the Old Testament in the Song of Solomon chapter number 5 verse number 16 in the original Hebrew it says Hikko Mamitakim Hikko Mamitakim Vikulli Muhammadim Zaidudi Zairai Baina Jerusalem which means which means he is more sweet he is altogether lovely he is my friend he is my beloved or daughter of Jerusalem now here if you read in Hebrew Hikko Mamitakim Vikulli Muhammadim now in the Semitic languages when you give respect you add Im so to the word of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam they have added Im like how for Allah means God Elohim is respect similarly for Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam they added for respect as Muhammadim but they translated into English so when you read the English Bible it reads that he is more sweet he is altogether lovely to the word Muhammadim they have changed into altogether lovely you cannot translate a proper noun can you no if you say mr. black in Hindi I cannot say Kala Kala means black I don't know how do you say in, in your language so for Muhammad it should have been Muhammad itself so the in the Bible in song of Solomon chapter 5 verse number 16 Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is mentioned by name besides being mentioned by name there are several prophecies in the Bible about Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him I can give a talk on that and in Ghana the country I'm going next from here my first lecture is Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in the Bible <clears throat> I will not have time to give you the details I'll give you references of few of the prophecies in the Old Testament Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has been prophesied in the book of Deuteronomy chapter number 18 verse number 18 in the book of Deuteronomy chapter number 18 verse number 19 is also prophesied in the book of Isaiah chapter number 29 verse number 12 as well as song of Solomon chapter number 5 verse number 16 in the New Testament is prophesied in the gospel of John chapter number 14 verse number 16 in the gospel of John chapter number 15 verse number 26 in the gospel of John chapter number 16 verse number 7 as well as gospel of John chapter number 16 verse number 12 to 14 I will just mention the translation of the last verse I quoted he is prophesied in Gospel of John chapter 16 verse number 12 to 14 where it is said that Jesus Christ peace be upon him says I have many things to say unto you but he cannot bear them now for he when the spirit of truth shall come he shall guide you unto all truth he shall not speak of himself all that year shall he speak he shall glorify me now this prophecy refers to no one but the last and final messenger prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam I have many things to say unto you, but he cannot bear them now. For he, when the spirit of truth shall come, he shall guide you unto all truth. He shall, he shall not speak of himself. All that year shall he speak, he shall glorify me. And if you read in the Quran, which was revealed to Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, is glorified. And it is also mentioned in the Quran, in Surah Araf, chapter 7, verse 157 that it is mentioned in the scriptures the law and the gospel about the coming of the last and final messenger Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam they believe in the prophet the unlettered prophet which is mentioned in the law and the scripture it's mentioned Surah Saf chapter 61 verse number 6 that Jesus Christ peace be upon him was sent as a messenger to the Bani Israel giving glad tidings giving reconfirming the laws that came before and giving glad tidings of a messenger to come whose name shall be Ahmad Ahmad is the name of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and there is a speech of mine Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in the Bible if you read that speech there are several prophecies mentioned in the Bible about the coming of the last and final messenger Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam hope that answers the question thank you very much so in other words you were just telling me that Muhammad peace be upon him is the Messiah right he is the messenger not the Messiah Messiah means Christ if you read in the Bible if you read in the Bible if you read the Gospel of John it says are you are you the Messiah asked to John John the Baptist he said no 
Are you Elijah? He said no. Are you that prophet? He said no. So that prophet is Prophet Muhammad. Messiah is Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. There are many prophecies in the Old Testament about coming about coming of the Messiah, which is Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, which we also believe. We have to believe in Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. But all the prophecies what the Christian claim is for Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, it is not for Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. Many are about Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Because there were many messengers sent by Almighty God. And as I told you, a Muslim cannot be a Muslim unless he believes in Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. So many prophecies in the Old Testament talk about the coming of the Messiah, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. Means Christos. But there are many prophecies also about Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And Jesus Christ, peace be upon himself said in the Red Letter Bible. Red Letter Bible means, means what Jesus himself spoke. Even in the Gospel of John chapter 16 verse number 7. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is expedient for you that I go away. For if I go not away, the comforter shall not come. For if I go, shall I send him. This comforter is talking about Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. I want to ask you now, brother. Do you believe in the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him? Yes, I do. MashaAllah. You are a Christian, you told me. Yes, I am. So if you are a Christian, you have to believe in the Bible? Yes, I do. And the Bible says that the last and final messenger is Prophet Muhammad. Do you believe in that? Yes, I do. MashaAllah. Do you believe there is one God? Yes, I do. Do you believe that Jesus is God? No, I don't. MashaAllah. So if you believe that Jesus, do you believe Jesus is a messenger? Yes, I do. That means you are a Muslim. If you believe there is one God, if you believe Jesus is the messenger of God, and if you believe Prophet Muhammad is the last and final messenger, you have fulfilled the minimum criteria of being a Muslim. Muslim means one who submits his will to God. Would you like to say the Shahada? Yes, I would. Is, is anyone forcing you to say the Shahada? No, out of my own will. Out of your own free will? Yes, please. Mashallah, I'll say it in Arabic and you can repeat it. Okay. Ashadu. Ashadu. Allah. Allah. Ilaha. Ilaha. Illallah. Illallah. Wa ashadu. Wa ashadu. Anna. Anna. Muhammadan. Muhammadan. Abduhu. Abduhu. Wa rasuluhu. Wa rasuluhu. I bear witness. I bear witness. I bear witness that 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 there is no God. There is no God. But Allah. But Allah. And I bear witness. And I bear witness that that Prophet Muhammad. Prophet Muhammad is is the messenger. The messenger and servant of Allah. And servant of Allah. Mashallah. May Allah reward you. And I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that may he grant you Jannah. Thank you very much. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa said, The moment any human being accepts Islam, all his previous sins are forgiven. All. And all the good deeds that you did will yet be in your account. But all the sins you do that you have done in the past is wiped out. I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant you Jannah. And may you be instrumental in spreading this message.